Hey guys, welcome back to The Conservative Patriot. My name is Keith, and I am The Conservative Patriot. Just wanted to uh, touch base quickly today. Um, thought I'd have a beer, try to get my thoughts together, and wrap my head around these shootings that happened yesterday in El Paso and in Dayton, Ohio. Uh, I don't understand why these shootings happen. Um, Sorry, bug. I, I don't understand why these people who go on mass shootings f need feel the need to kill other people if their lives are that bad or that they're that mentally unstable that they can't take it any longer. Then just kill yourself. Just kill yourself. You just no need to kill other people. Just just kill yourself. You don't need to go out and shoot as many people as you can and then kill yourself. That really all because you want to get your name in the papers or um, you want to be able to read your manifesto that says how messed up you are in the first place no just do the world a favor and kill yourself no need to kill anybody else just take your own life and be done with it because obviously you are that screwed up that uh, nothing is working anymore so if you if, if you're that twisted just just put a bullet in your head and and be and and end your life not anybody else's because this is getting ridiculous and it's not about gun control there's no gun control in the world that will prevent an unstable person from doing what they do there's no law at all that says that's gonna say oh um, we're gonna make a law and that guy who is mentally unstable that is now that now wants to kill a bunch of people because he said though in his manifesto it's gonna stop him from doing that right no it's not gonna do that Anybody who is crazy or wants to do some harm to somebody else is going to do it, whether it be with a gun, a knife, a paperclip, whatever. They're gonna, they're, they are going to inflict harm no matter what weapon it is. So there's no legislation that Congress can put on anything, especially firearms and our Second Amendment rights, that will stop what happened yesterday, unfortunately. Do we need more mental health? Um intervention yes definitely it goes back to if you if you see somebody that might not be right in the head you might want to tell somebody um, especially if they have access to firearms um, or a way to get a firearm um, you might want to tell somebody that you know this person is saying things or doing things and and uh, I need to let you know um, but you know it, the events yesterday are completely horrific and my, my thoughts and prayers go out to the victims' families. But yet again, almost instantly, the Democrats are using this for a political platform. They're, they're, they're using this to bring to the forefront, yet again, their desire to strip away our Second Amendment rights. This, the, 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 they don't even have the human decency to let the victims' families grieve. Let them grieve. Leave them alone. Don't use them for political gain. Just leave them alone. I mean, what if this happened to one of your family members? Would you be out on stage going, Oh, we need to stop the Second Amendment, and we need to rewrite it and get rid of it and take all the guns away? No. You would be grieving and feel horrible. You, there's a time and a place, and there's no time and a place like during the situation um, to start spouting off we are taking your guns and there's something needs to get done about this no not at all um, but yet again they're using the, the Democrats are using this to further their agenda to try to take your guns now I am a or I have my concealed carry permit and in the state of Connecticut I can either open carry or conceal carry I don't do it often I don't do it as often as I should um, I think I'm going to be doing it a lot more now. Uh, a lot of times it's just that I either am not wearing the you know appropriate clothes or I think I'm not wearing the appropriate clothes or I just don't take it from my safe in my house, put it in the safe in the car, take it out, put it on. Um, you know, like you're supposed to do as a law-abiding citizen. Follow the laws and how you're supposed to carry your weapon with you. Um, but again, I think I'm going to be doing that a lot more. But again, I'm licensed to carry. I have a licensed uh, registered firearm with the state and federal government. I went through all the classes. My fingerprints have been taken. I passed all the background checks. Um, in the state of Connecticut, you need to pass 
um, uh, a background check, a criminal background check, and you also need to get fingerprinted by the state, which then goes to the FBI and comes back and then gets um, uh, sent to the town that you live in to be kept on file with the, along with the state police. So people like me who follow the laws aren't the ones you need to be worried about. You need to be worried about those mentally unstable people who listen to rhetoric from the Democrats who are a divide and conquer mentality right now and they just want them to do harm on anybody. So they'll see this and go, a mentally unstable person will, will listen to a Democrat or and hear their divisive comments and say, you know what, that, that's, that's awesome, that makes sense, I need to go down in a blaze of glory. No, no, just shoot yourself, like I said before, just kill yourself. You don't know that. You don't need to go down in a blaze of glory. You just need to um, sit in your house or apartment and put a bullet in your head. If you want to kill somebody, kill yourself. Um, and it's unfortunate that the shooter from El Paso yesterday was captured by the police, because, in my opinion, they should have just put a bullet in his head and be done with that. Because now, as taxpayers, we're going to have to pay to feed and house him for lifetime unless he gets the death penalty. And even if he does get the death penalty. He might not be. He might be on death row for thirty years. So there's more money um, down the drain that we're paying for a mass murderer. <sighs> Anyways, I, I mean, my, my mind is full of of thoughts on this subject, and I just wish that these mass shootings would stop. And it's it. It's not like we have a lot of mass shootings in this country. Um, we have a lot of news outlets in this country, and we have a lot of fake news in this country reporting a lot of um, bullshit that happens. And I know for a fact that Norway and I think Sweden have a higher mass shooting rate than the United States does, and those countries are a lot smaller, um, both geography and population-wise. Anyways... Um, Thought I'd get that out there. I know that there's a lot of news right now on these mass shootings. Um, I don't have all the details, but I just wanted to kind of put my my thoughts and feelings and emotions out there and see what you guys think. So I hope you guys have a good night. Keep your family safe and always stay on the right side. Have a good night.